Naki Valley Camp, this is an area where we have close to 170,000 people. This is one of the oldest uh, camp or settlement on the, on the African continent. And we've come here today with, uh, with, a, with a team uh, uh, led by uh, Mrs. Uh, Miriam Ferrand, who is the Deputy Director General of uh, INSPA. And the purpose of this visit is to see um, how we can uh, collaborate with INPA, which is the development uh, branch of the, of the EU, to, to boost the support that we're providing to refugees uh, and to try and move towards self-reliance more than we've done so far. Uh, Uganda is one of the countries in the world which uh, has had the policies that are the most welcoming. Uh, this is a place where when refugees arrive, uh, they are provided with land. It's a settlement policy, it's not a camp policy. Uh, so what we need to do is to see how we can, how we can boost the self-reliance. If you invest in water, if you invest in agriculture, if you invest in livelihood, you will reduce the dependency on humanitarian assistance and the population will be less uh, uh, exposed to the possibility of reduced funding. That being said, and it's important to underline that humanitarian assistance will continue to be needed. Uh, unfortunately, due to the situation in the countries that are neighboring uh, uh, Uganda, we continue to see a flow of people coming from the RC, uh, and, and that's a reality. We are planning to build a water tank of 1,000 cubic meters, and we heard, we had a lot of discussions, we heard that scarcity of water is a, a problem, and this is allowing to make the bridge with another big project financed by the European Union, by Agence Française de Développement in particular, which will bring water via pipes into the settlement. So this is a sustainable and comprehensive project. Another example can be that we are going to improve the uh, energy for coming from solar in the whole settlement and um, use this for the health facility. In this respect, I'm personally very happy to be able to announce that the European Commission is granting 15 more million euros to a specific program for support to refugees in Uganda.